This right here is the brand new official deluxe catnap plush by Fat Mojo. And of course, Mob Entertainment, and it is an amazing plush. I gotta say that, like, I know I haven't even, like, opened it up yet. This plush is absolutely amazing. And of, of course, I still have the official one made by Mob Entertainment right here. I did a full review on his if you want to go check it out. And I will be doing a YouTube short, probably doing a little comparison of both these two plushies. But just by looking at them, I think we know which one looks a little better. So without further ado, let's go and actually open up the, you know, catnap plush here. If you're wondering why I'm opening it up and why all the boring stuff is happening, this plush, you so far can only get it on Walmart. I think it'll be going on Epic Drops soon. Epic Drops is the retailer that ships it. And uh, it retails for like $20. So to be fully honest, not that bad. It's of course the US. So if you live in like Canada or something like that, I don't know if it's still going to ship. But yeah, this is the plush. We have it open. Let's reveal the catnap. Look at that. Catnap looks just amazing, I gotta say. Like, I did not really expect this Catnap plush to look this good, but somehow he does. But before we actually look at the plush, we should look at the tag. Because, you know, that's the thing you're gonna be seeing in the store and scanning. This, of course, is the tag. As you can see, it says, Poppy Playtime showing jump scare, huggy wuggy, looking right at you with the trademark. Making it look all scuffed up and scraped up, even though it's not. It's just the printing design. In the back, it has the scanning barcode. It says, Fat Mojo, Mob Entertainment, Poppy Playtime, all of our reserved, yada, yada, yada. But this says cat nap up top of course like i said this plush in the retail for 20 dollars and you might be able to actually find this in stores too i got this online like i said you can see the little butt tag there i guess it's poppy playtime and you know, I guess all the good stuff you usually know inside of a tag, open it up, Fat Mojo, all that stuff. But I didn't really expect Fat Mojo to make a really good catnap plush. But yet, here we are with this. I'm going to put the render of catnap right here. And as you guys can see in my hand, this render of catnap versus this version of catnap definitely looks pretty good. It's pretty accurate compared to the other one. So without further ado, let's go look at the body first before we look at the head. Even because, you know, the head is like the biggest part of the plush. But if you look at the body here, you guys can see he has the dangling legs like it's supposed to. It's fluffy, it's soft, it's comfortable. And of course, he has both of his tiny little arms that could go on both sides. And of course, they're pretty thin, but of course, it's still really soft. It has good embroidery designs, of course, in the fingers here. It looks really good. I really had nothing else to say. Both the arms are just the exact same. And if you turn it around, you guys can see he's not thick like the other plush. He's just a regular thickness and looks just like the game. The body is, like I said, really accurate except for one feature of course being the tail as you guys can see the tail is not like i don't know two feet long in the game we know that the tail is really long but in here the plush is sadly does not have a long tail as you guys can see it's just a regular length tail but let's go and actually look at the main feature here being the zipper and the front of it of course the zipper here does not he does not have the moon charm sadly if you turn it around it's actually fluffy which is pretty strange versus the top which is just a smooth it's not even metallic it's, it's reflective it's smooth but it's just like a thin piece of fabric it's not even like any plastic nothing like that and if you lift it up there is a zipper here but it's a non-functioning zipper you cannot open up the zipper you cannot pull it down it's just there for aesthetic purposes which is really good i do like the aesthetic purposes are there but it would have been cool if you were able to open it up and if it would have had a better charm but i guess the budget went everywhere else in the plush so let's just look at the other catnap plush here if you guys can actually see and this is the other catnap plush. You can definitely see some of the differences. The catnap plush from Mob Entertainment is a lot bigger than the catnap one here. Even though this one's called the deluxe one, this one still is bigger. It has an actual moon charm. Might not be reflective, but it actually works as a zipper. You can open it up. And of course, the color of the pouch of the zipper being gray is more game accurate. And if you made it to this half of the video, you know what that means? It's the halfway mark where I am illegally required to beg for subscribers. Yes, the algorithm requires me to beg you guys to subscribe subscribe because you know what happens when you don't subscribe absolutely nothing will happen it just makes my day and it makes you know making videos is a lot more cool you know like you guys are subscribing yo it's really cool but yeah you don't have to subscribe but you know likes comments continue watching the video all that stuff helps the algorithm we all know the algorithm is the only thing that helps us out right catnap yeah catnap agrees meaning if you don't want to subscribe catnap's gonna be fine with that sadly he doesn't come with the red smoke but if he did he probably would have came to your house and used it on anyways Let's get back to the review. But of course, you can open up the Mob 1 because you can't put anything inside of it, sadly. But, as you guys can also see here, the arms are a lot thicker. It's a lot stiffer, this plush. And it has weird fluff here, which is not in the game, which this plush does a good job.
job of, of course, doing differently. But this one does have, like, the long two-inch tail. So the mob official one does have that, of course, going for it. But now let's go and actually look at the main feature of the plush being, of course, the head. This is, of course, the main feature that everybody's going to be probably looking at. Catnap's head, as you guys can see. His eyes are the main feature that always sticks out to me when I look at a catnap plush. And, of course, the shape of the head. As you guys can see, his nose is sadly not a plastic mold, which is pretty sad. But it's embroidered there, and it has a good layer of thickness to it. As you guys can see there. And you can also see me in the reflection if you look hard enough. But, yes, it's pretty sweet to see how they put the embroidery here. And it's, just, it's, it's, it's the same shape as the game, unlike the other catnap plush, where we will be looking at a little bit later on. The eyes are, of course, still hard plastic, which is amazing. It's game accurate to that. And also, it's really thin, as you guys can see. It doesn't poke out. It's not like a big sphere. It doesn't poke out of his head. It's just like the game where it's a thin little disc in there. And this is amazing how they actually did that. And I really do love that. I hope more plushies decide to do this, like the U2's plushies, if we do ever get those, you know. Yeah, those. But as you guys can also see here, his mouth. The one problem I do have about it is, one, it doesn't have the little gas tank thing there. The official didn't even have that. And two, it's just flat. As you guys can see, it kind of sticks out if you turn his head like that. It doesn't go in like it should be like in the game. It's supposed to be a gaping hole. It still looks like one from the video, but the more you look at it, the more you realize it is, of course, fabric. No cardboard, nothing like that. It's just fabric, you know? And of course, the one other thing is if the ears. The ears do have a little bit of a thickness. It doesn't go around his head like, of course, the in-game model does. But he also doesn't have a little indent in his head, which the game does have. And sadly, none of the plushes so far do have that. His head is, of course, pretty thin. It's, like, not too thick. It's a good layer of a plush. And in my hand, as you guys can see, it's a good size. This is a good catnap plush if you really want one. And also, it's cheap, too. So let's go and actually look at this catnap versus the other catnap, as you guys can literally see here. Here. There's a lot different with the head. Like, one, the eyes poke out of that one, it doesn't. The head is so much more thicker in the official versus the other official. Wait, the both official. The Mob Entertainment versus Fat Mojo one. The ears definitely go over, which it should be on this one. The ears are way bigger on this one, which it should not be. The nose is a different type on the official one, or the Mob one, but it does have, of course, a different type of a uh, nose shape versus the uh, Mob, I mean, Fat Mojo one. I'm getting really confused here. The gaping hole is a lot bigger on the official one here, or the Mob here. And then this other... <laughs> Another official is really confusing when you have multiple officials. Officials, of course, does not actually go in. So yes, as you guys can see, there is definitely a lot of differences here. And if you want to go, you could definitely go inch by inch, compare every single one of them. But it's just pretty sweet to see both the catnaps side by side. But at the end of the day, if I have to pick a catnap plush, I'm going to have to go with the, you know, Fat Mojo one. Yes, the mob entertainment is bigger. But remember, that mob plush cost around... I don't know, $38 shipping and tax should almost equal to $50 versus the $20 you're gonna pay for this plush and the $3 shipping. So would you rather pay $23 or pay literally double for that plush? That is your opinion to choose. Is I literally got them both for reviewing purposes and also because I love Catnap. Just look at Catnap, man. He's perfect. Now he's going to be my favorite Catnap plush. Officially licensed Poppy Playtime product. So, yes, you cannot say it's not official like you guys kept putting in the other comic just because it was a pre-order. But anywho, like I was saying, guys, this is an amazing plush. I really do love this Catnap plush. And don't forget to check out my other Catnap review. And if you're still waiting for the Dog Day plush from Mob Entertainment, it has not shipped. It's a pre-order going in May. You guys need to realize that. But yes, I get Give this plush an 8 out of 10. Why? Because the, it has some problems with the ears, of course, the whole mouth, the charm, and the zipper. But beside that, it's an amazing plush that is really faithful to the game. Unlike the other one, which you guys might like the other one. I do love the other one. Never said anything wrong with it. It's a really good plush. But when you want to compare it here, this one also doesn't look derpy and doesn't come in shipped a little bit wonky. But yeah, that's really going to be it for it. I really hope Fat Mojo makes more of the Smiling Critters because this is really amazing. And I really want to see other ones like Dog Day, Craft corn other ones like that anyway see y'all in the next video goodbye and stay tuned for the youtube short of me comparing both of these really quickly you got games on your phone oh wait that's me